Hi guys, welcome back. How are you guys doing? Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to make pin cushions out of teacups. I ordered four of these. One I actually kept to use for my tea, and then um, the other one I did make a pin cushion. And then I have two of them. Here we go. Two of these. And so I'm not a seamstress. I'm, you know. <laughs> <laughs> these can come out wonky <laughs> but, um, so yeah I'm not a professional it's just from my scraps and scratches and stuff so um, what I'm gonna do is try one with a sewing machine and then try one without the sewing machine where you can just use a needle and thread and then um, if you don't have a sewing machine you I hopefully I've like I'm winging it completely guys so <laughs> if it comes out wonky yeah at least I tried <laughs> Um, this would be the uh, the video of what not to do. No. <laughs> okay, so um, so I'm gonna do one here and then one here. So I guess the first thing I need is material. So and flowers. <laughs> these are my big flowers. <laughs> so I'm gonna put these here. The big flowers. Maybe I'll put them over here. There. You go. Okay, yeah. Okay, then I'll put these here. And so, what I have is some material. And then, oh, I also have small flowers. That's a real important thing to have. Tiny little flowers. If you collect flowers, I've collected little tiny flowers. <laughs> Whenever I'd go to Walmart, I'd be like, oh, cute. And I'd buy them and just put them in here. Just to, actually, to make the jar just look good in my craft room. <laughs> I was like, oh, every time I look up, it's so cute little flowers. So one of these, and then the big flower jar, and then um. So I guess all I got to do is just uh, pick a material. So, and so I do. Oop, there goes my glue gun, my leaky glue gun. Um, I do want to make pin cushions, but like I've never, I don't know how it's gonna come out. But I want to make big ones, and then um, there's also I wanted to put like soda bottle, the plastic under with lace, and so I don't know. I think I'm just gonna experiment to experiment it after this video, and then maybe um, show you guys. You know, I guess see how it comes out. Um, so I've seen the method being done before, so I like this one. Okay, so see, I like this one a lot. this so hmm Jesus okay so I definitely am choosing this one because I think that would look really pretty and then oops I'm get my glue gun away okay so about that one So yeah, I'm going to make the big one out of this. So. Hmm. I like this one. This one's cute. So this has like flowers. Like the little blue flowers. And then this one is cute. And you guys know I love country flowers. So yeah, this is the one to go. Okay, so... I'm gonna make them in both these colors. So okay, so all you, I don't have like, I just use like a regular bowl to make the circle. So um, I guess am I gonna make the one first without sewing it? <clears throat> I kind of wonder. So I guess what I'll do is, um, I'll make this one with sewing it and then this one because there's a lot more material if it was like a mistake through the sewing machine or something I can always recut another circle so I think that's the best thing to go because this is like a whole bunch more and I got this material at Hobby Lobby in the back I think it was like for like a table or something that was just beautiful so that's what I'm gonna do I'll put this over here See, and I did get like styrofoam, but I don't know if I should put a styrofoam at the bottom. 
think I'm gonna try. So if you like to have like styrofoam, I'm gonna try some styrofoam. And then of course fluff. Lots of fluff. I have the fluff. I'll put fluff right there. Okay. And then I'm gonna guess do it right here. And then just get a pen. Gosh, I hope I don't ruin this project here. Move over, Flappy. Okay. Go. And you can just use whatever, you know, you want for a tracer. So yeah, I think that's big enough. Well, it gives me an idea. So, and you can't see through it, so it's a good thing. So let's see if this is big enough. Like, I don't know. So I'm just going to try my glue gun keeps leaking. So. so I got these just like, you know, when you get stuff through the mail, you order stuff or whatever, packaging. A little smaller. Okay, I'm making a big mess. And put some glue in there. Oh my gosh, this is not gonna stop dripping. Yeah, I still haven't got a new glue gun yet. Still have the same one. I, if anything, I think it's a waste of money because it's just you know, leaking all its glue. I have to keep buying, like, buying sticks and stuff. For it. And I keep saying I'm going to buy another one and I haven't done it yet. Okay, so then let's see if I can do this. So I think this is going to have to be bigger, but I think it will work. I'm just going to put more fluff. So, of course, it's not going to be very attractive when you put this together, but once you turn it around, it will look really good. So, I guess it gets to be poofy. So, I'm just going to try it. This way. And here's the needle and thread. There so I went out and bought some pansies. But I don't know if it's like the time of the, I live in Arizona, so I don't know if it's the right time to start putting the pansies out, but it says it's like 94 now, the temperature. And I did put them and planted them in like a little water fountain that I had, an old one, and I planted it in like a, in a bottom part of the bigger bowl part of it. And so I put my pansies in there, so I know that they're winter flowers. So, 
that I think those are the only flowers gonna I that I know of. I don't there's probably so many other flowers, but that I know that can handle snowfall like literally right on top of them. So like yeah, because I remember when it snowed in my pansies were like happy as can be. Every other plant was just like literally dying and <laughs> it was too cold. <laughs> you had to keep them covered and stuff, so anyways I put those pansies up but I'm so scared that they're gonna die because of the heat so yeah and then I went and had my garden box that was built um, oh my gosh it had like so many complications like first it was really hot for the summer for some reason I think it turned into a cook box my plants weren't doing so good in it so I moved it and then I drilled holes at the top of it maybe it needed some airflow which is it did help a little but I completely moved it now to a different area and the plants just started to flourish um, but the plants that I had before you know they were just kinda dried out and you know didn't do too good for the summer so I took them out today um, this morning and then I went out and bought herbs so I bought rosemary, basil, um, I, I think it said, uh, I think it said, uh, Philippine basil, and then there was, um, rosemary I bought, and oregano. So yeah, I'm really excited that, you know, to get like an herb garden, uh, growing. So I did move the box closer to the sliding window that I have so maybe that's going to help it a lot so we'll see and see how the little garden goes but yeah I kind of like hopefully if it goes really good I can buy bigger pots and I wanted to like plant like squash in one of them carrots just something really cute and tiny and my son started growing tomatoes which is he's growing literally a tomato bush there growing in the backyard He's experimenting, but I think it's out of season two, so, yeah. But I do know, I'm, I know when it gets cold, I'm going to have to, you know, cover it up for him and stuff, show him. But yeah, he's getting a little green thumb, too. <laughs> so it's really, it's really fun. We're just experimenting with plants and getting my kids involved. And my daughter, she just loves, like, you know, smelling the flowers, the pansies and stuff. So... Yeah, it's kind of fun with the little garden box. But hopefully things get better for California and the fires, you know, calm down and stuff. Winter's coming. Hope things get better. So here we go here. I hope that this works. I'm afraid that um it doesn't work. And I'll just like stop the video and make another one because I was worried that I made the circle too small. That was the only thing I kind of like was looking at. Okay, so I think I'm done here. Good. Go. All right. That there. So just gonna try to move the little material and then place it in here. Let's see if this is what I want. Because if it's not, I can always make another one. And probably put this in like maybe in the little soda bottle thing I wanted to do. So either way it will. I can use it both ways. So I think I want to do is put more fluff in there. That's probably what it needs. And let's see how this goes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try gluing the fluff down here a little bit. And then I'm going to put glue gun all here. And on the sides, and I hope I don't burn myself. I remember when, <laughs> I don't know what I was doing and I was making something with you guys. Literally 100% it burned me. And I was trying to be strong and brave and you didn't want to be embarrassed. I was like, oh, I burned myself. But yeah, I was like screaming in the brain. And my brain's like, ow, what did I just do? 
Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Ew, it's leaking. It leaked all over my scissors. Oh my gosh. And then just push against, see, like that. Just give it like a little push, get the material in there. So this is what you can do if you don't have a sewing machine. You can do it this way to make the little ball. And I would say that it's better that way, but I'm just really want to experiment with the sewing machine just curious and how it would come out with the other one if it like I'm wondering on my head on my mind I think it would be more straighter and stuff but I don't know figure it out and then just fix the little imperfections <laughs> this is cute I like it it's coming out really good getting all the glue gun strings off yeah. okay so that so far and what's really good about this is um, you can always re tear this out I mean literally if I went in there with my hands and yanked it out you can remake and change the material so let's just say that you had needles in it and you had it for a long time and then you know dust gets in it or you know I don't know you can always replace that little bun back in there with a different material or you can take this little bun rewrap it with another material and tie it and it'll sew it back up and just place it right back in and it'll make it more plumpier so yeah it just never ends so which is really cute okay so we did that and then um, now to decorate it and that's so to decorate these guys is I'm gonna use this like flower material little ruffles and then this is nice I think this would be perfect and then this there we go Oops. and this ribbon I don't think that would match the other material. Okay, so what I do is I'm gonna run this around with the glue gun. Okay, so I noticed that. I gotta do it this way. Alright, so when you start this, always start it like right here. You don't want to start it like over here and um, you see you're going to have to come around and yeah, it, it's going to be really weird. If you start it here, you'll end like right here at the cup and this little handle won't get in the way. You could just stop right here and glue it. So yeah. When I made my other one, that's what happened to me. I started it here and I had to repeal it off. <laughs> Okay, so get your glue gun. I'm gonna have to push that down in my mouth. <laughs> ah. There we go. 
now you want to put it like right at the edge right here see whatever imperfections that had happened here is gone now see all you see is fluffy ruffles literally been coming out with allergies. I think the last time I had allergy problems the last time I told you guys. It's so yeah, so weird. Allergies. So excuse if you hear me stuffy. <laughs> So I've been working on these journals and um, I'm just really excited to get them done. They're adorable. Okay, so I'm going to get this. When you get to this point, you don't want to continue glowing it. You want to just stop at this point and then you're going to measure it. You don't want to glue it because then you won't be able to, you know, handle it better when it's moving around. and. It's more flexible, <laughs> which is something I did <laughs> the other one. <laughs> so I was like, why I did? And I'm trying to get the scissors in there, so experience. <laughs> okay, so then now get it in here. And remember, if you want your little bubble, your little bun, um, higher, you can always stuff it more of fluff, a bigger circle, um, if you would. But I really prefer it like this. This is like how I like it, um, just so the needles will go in and stuff. So, and I love it. It's perfect. I've seen like some that were woo, like a little ice cream cone. <laughs> I was like, awesome. They're pinning stuff on the sides. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now, um, flowers. So if you look, they're like orange and pink. And so what I'm going to do is go into my little flowers. Hmm. Okay, here we go. That looks like a match. Oh, look at this. That looks like a match, too. And then some of these. Okay. Literally taking out the whole flower population in here. <laughs> okay, I found more of these. like way at the bottom. I'm just going to pour it all out. There we go. So cute. I think that's enough. Okay. And I got these at, um, these ones, I got these at Walmart. Now I'm pretty sure maybe the other craft stores have them. But yeah, this is where I got them at Walmart. Hmm. Got a little flower mess. Okay. Oh, done. Right on it. 
Okay, so, um, put this one away. We're done with that. So I guess, um, only four of these. And these come with, okay. Wow, okay. Are these coming apart? Huh. Oh, okay, there's some together. That's a good thing. And this one. So that's like bright orange, a darker orange, and then like an offset orange. That's cool. I like it. All right, but how am I going to set these up? So I guess I'm going to start off with. So each one, if you see, there's like flowers. I got this at um, Joanne's. Joanne's always carries this type of um, material. It it's like, resembles like a silky, shabby chic type flowers. Um, that's where I usually see them. And they always put them on sale too. So I'm gonna put one of these here. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm hoping that this evens out. cuties right here like that and another cutie these I'm just gonna move it around like that and cute little flowers Um, so I am going to be putting this up on Etsy, um, because I'm making two of them, so I don't know which one I want, <laughs> so I don't know which one, but maybe I might keep this one and put, I'll tell you at the very end. Oh no, 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 not you. Almost put the wrong one up, wrong flower on Yeah, it got some glue on the bottom. So now, oh my gosh. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. I gotta get it. <laughs> oh, I, I so despise things when they fall on the floor because I gotta get down there and get them. Me and my butterfingers. But I have retrieved it. I don't know if this happens to you guys, but you guys drop stuff on the floor and you have to get down there and get it. And I get so upset at myself having butterfingers. <laughs> Alright, and then one more. Got left one, one more little flower for the future for something. Okay, now I want to make the bow. Okay, bow time. <laughs> so, I'm gonna make this bow. Oh, I got glue gun here. definitely going to have to burn the edges of this bow. So I'm going to get my lighter out and make this bow. So this is how I make my bow. Just ignore the glue on my fingers. Okay. So you go like this. 
so you get the material you get the ribbon and you go like this and you guys I don't know how you guys make your bows probably ten times better than mine but for some reason I feel that the bows come out perfect like this to me in my eyes and then you just grab it and then you make a tie with it so. and I'm coming around with it just like that and then you just put your hands here and you pull, tighten, pull, and you just get tighter and tighter. But I want to measure it here, and I think this is a perfect size for it. So I'm just going to tighten, and now I'm just going to get this and cut the sides there we go that's how I want it I'm gonna cut the sides better here and the lighter at the ends of the Put a new glue stick in. There we go. I think I'm gonna put the glue here. So I would say the glue here, and I hope I don't burn myself because this is silk. So I use these little rubber spatulas. Um, so I won't burn myself. I think a lady saw a picture of my craft room. I sent a picture of my cat. And he was like standing in the middle of the light and he was like getting ready for me to get, start recording and stuff. And um, she asked, why do you have spatulas <laughs> in your, on your desk? Like, what are you doing? I was like, oh. And I told her I keep burning my fingers and it keeps me from burning my fingers. And she's like, whoa, that's neat. <laughs> she's like, what a great idea. <laughs> she was probably wondering if I was cooking. <laughs> I should do that. Oh, I'll make, I'm going to have to make a little project here on my table that's something yummy. <laughs> I should. I wanna, actually, um, I do have some ideas for Christmas. It would be cute if I did on my craft table. <laughs> okay, so... Here's the bow. So I'm gonna bring it up. Oh my, I'll bring it this way. And then I'll turn it. So I wanna put a flower. So big old fluff. I think this is too big. I'm gonna go smaller because I really want the bow to stand out. I still feel like spider webs on me the glue. Okay. Oh, this little flower. What do you guys think about that? And it looks like it. <laughs> Put some glue in there. Open it up more. Get the bottom petals in. Push down. Get that. There we go. That way it'll stay like that. And there you go, guys. This is one with a thread. I'm gonna try the other one with a sewing machine. Just so curious. Let's see how it looks with needles. <clears throat> Excuse my stuffy nose. <laughs> Let's put these needles in it. Let's put these ones in. Yeah. 
There you go, and you got your needles. And now it can hold all your pins. So, this is so cute. I love it. Cute, cute, cute. So if I put this on Etsy, I'll sell it just like this with the little pin needles in it too. <laughs> All right, let's do one more. This here, I'm not doing orange. I'm kind of worried about how I'm going to make the other one like matching colors and stuff. So I don't know how that's going to go. Literally. Oh boy. Well, hmm. Okay. Well, again, I'm winging it. So, like, I'm kind of worried, like, how am I going to match flowers and stuff? Okay. So, here's this one. Now, what I did notice is when I cut that circle. I was barely making it. Like, if I had sewn it, yeah, I might have, I don't know. I'm just going to take my chances and do it. All right, so what I'm going to do is cut up this material. So I'm going to, this is going to get, this is not, okay, here we go. Put fluff away. So I want to get it where it's a lot of flowers, so you know, even though it's going to waste material, it's okay because I really want this in the center. Like that's what I want in the middle of my teacup. And I don't know what's on the other side, but the other side will probably... Yeah, because the other side could use this material underneath. Awesome! So why am... Okay. My brain is ticking. I have a light bulb. <laughs> I was gonna literally cut up both materials and I that was like pointless because it would be at the bottom, right? So, and it has like already, look, this material. So yeah. Because I'm noticing my problem. Come around. Because I have to keep thinking going to a sewing machine. There. Okay, and then I'm going to cut it here. Okay, there. And what I'm going to do is flip this. Now I do this, that way you won't see. Now you guys gotta tell me if this is centered. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> centered. <laughs> okay, I'm hoping it's centered. Cause from where I'm sitting, I can't really see. All right, a circle. This way. it one more time just in case and there we go <sighs> done better okay so what I'm gonna do is I'll be right back set up the sewing machine be right back <laughs> okay so I pinned it up a little I put some pins on it and I'm just gonna run it to the sewing machine get it in here and basically, when you sew, just um, turn the little wheel. <laughs> and I always line up the needle to the little black pen where I actually need it. And there we go. Ready to go.
Alright guys, so I'll finish this up and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, so this is what we have left. <laughs> so um, when I did go with the sewing machine, um, I stopped from here and left a little slit. That way you can turn it inside out. So I'm going to put these pins away. pins go oh well going in there now okay and so cut the thread the back side go all right so now I'm just gonna get these little shears and go around it We just got to turn it inside out. <laughs> Let's see how this goes because I might have to get a little shish kebab and then start turning it inside out. So I think I have a shish kebab. Yeah, let's see if this works. Oh no wait. Mm -hmm. I think I'm doing pretty good actually on my own. I'm not a seamstress, guys. I'm just winging it here. I'm not a professional sewer. So if anything's wonky, that's what makes it beautiful. <laughs> that's, the, that's the trademark. No. <laughs> Homemade <laughs> with love. <laughs> and there we go. So this is what you end up with. A cute little thing and poofy. I, I hope this goes good. I hope it fits. Okay, so I'm gonna start putting cotton in here. I think I might stop the camera because I don't know how long this will take. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm always just worried about the time, you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff it like this, just like how I'm doing it. And then I'm going to come with a needle. And then um, when you do sew this, okay, so you want to flip these down. See how they're already ready? And then that's when you don't want to have this flipped around and then you're going to have little strings and the material could just like fall out. So they're already flipped in like this. Let me get them ready. And then you want to just close the little mouth and then you're going to run the needle not right at the edge like right here and then you're going to pull it here go back go so sorry go back <laughs> go forth go back and, forth, and then you'll pull the string and it'll just get tighter and it'll look like you know around. so that's what I'm going to do I'll be right back <laughs> all right I stuffed it with fluff sewed it up and now I just like plopped it in here and now I'm putting glue in it glue gun in there and just go around the rim like you did the other one I don't know what do you guys think one sewn one not so I'll be making more of these in the same manner with the sewing I'm really glad I did this because I practice it's a good practice because I'm gonna make bigger ones in the same manner through the sewing machine 
um, yeah, you won't be able to use um, the thread. You might. I'm sure you can, you know, when you see it, you can probably still use a needle. I wouldn't doubt it, 100%, you know, but it might take a little longer. I can't wait to show you those ones. So these ones, they're like, it's almost in the same manner like this. Um, they're called pretty flowers. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my God. So you could see the difference. So beautiful. You could see the... I got the needles stuck in here from sewing it. I was sewing the, this little part. Um, so it kind of pops up more. So that's what it does. So the one you do here, it's a little lower. But again, you know, I did cut it small, the circle. I should have made it, you know, to get that. But it, look, it has more oomph. <laughs> more bun. So there we go on that one. So now let's get these this looking pretty so I picked out this lace um, so I want to put this lace all around it so I want to make sure it's on the right side of lace I've done that before wrong side <laughs> even though it still looks good though tell you the truth I don't even think this has the good side bad side it's probably like for a dress so here I see the sewing here this is definitely the end. okay So what you want to do is just give it a better correct. Oops, not these. Get these out. Okay. Just gonna straighten this out more. Okay. Oops. So I kind of wonder, here's the thing, should I put it up here, because it looks cute if it did, go with cute tech box. but I'm not sure if I did do that. It would ruffle out like this, oh my gosh. I wish I had you guys telling me. <laughs> I'm going to try. I'm going to just be risky. I want to be risky. Because you never know. Like it would if it comes out good. So I'm going to run this. I'm going to do it. It's already too late. Can't go back. I'm going to do it. going to be risky. Like that. I think it looks good but I don't know we'll find out when I'm done my scissors out of the way guys think <laughs> so far and then stop halfway <laughs> I don't want to make that mistake that one time when I did that so you can have more control over it okay and then I'll cut it about right here Did I even figure out what ribbon I was going to use for it? Oh, okay. <sighs> I'm <was> nervous. <laughs> it's like, well, what am I going to do next? Okay. So now I'm just going to cut it. There we go. Perfect. And now I'm going to go here. There. 
and now I notice the laces I want what I'm gonna do is come in with this underneath and then just put a little bit on the bow like this but just putting dots just to give it like it's still ruffly but not too I just want to have control over the lace and it doesn't like flip up I'm going to attach these two here. Underneath. But not too much. I want it roughly. There we go. All right. Now. Now we want to get flowers for it. Flower time. Hmm. Definitely. Big flower. This one looks good. I think that would look cute. And this is material actually. It's like a type of silk or something. Yeah. Alright. I closed it up. Okay, so Let's get this bow, I guess. That's what we're going to do. Oh, no. Let's just put the flowers down. Let's see how this goes. Because this is not doesn't have how this had the little flowers. And then, like, I was able just to put them in the middle. I have to, like, literally clear, create that, sorry, in my head. <laughs> I have to vision flowers. <laughs> like a rough or, like, you know, where they can go. Or I could just look, eyeball this, huh? Okay, I can do that. So how many did I use here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So how many are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. One, two, three, four. No, I don't run away from me. Okay, I can do that. I'll do. So, eyeball this. There's two here, so. Thank you. 
this right. I hope I did. Ah, uh, oh, I missed. There you go. All the spider webs are all over me <laughs> from the glue gun. Okay, there we go. How cute is that? Oh, it's so cute. And the little flower on here is so cute. Okay, so now ribbon time. So I'm going to go like this. So let's cut about that much off. Display. All right, ribbon time here. So I shouldn't cut the ends yet. So. Together. Pull it. Oh, oh, I lost it. Got it. Okay. a lot of glue just because it's a very stubborn bow. And I don't want it to come apart. does burn with the lighter. I'm afraid to do it. So I'm going to practice it with this. See how it goes. Yep, it works. So I'm just going to give it a light burn. Okay. So now, what do you guys think? Should I put this here? be adorable because I can always leave it like that you know and if I don't know let's see how it looks there put it I think it has yeah. no I think it'd be too much like too many little flowers and I want it to look like like a little Victorian hat you know with the little flower near What do you guys think? I could probably put a little bit of glue. Let's see. <laughs> I look like little hearts. I love it because it's like a little bouquet. So I'm gonna put more glue to make it official. It's gonna stay. Take all the spider webs off me. There we go. Let's see how it looks with pens and more spider webs. Look at these little sparkly needles here. Mm -hmm. I can't get rid of that spider web. And let's put a little pearl here. Alright, what do you guys think? 
Oh my gosh, how cute. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed it and how to make a crafty teacup pin cushions. Perfectly from the name of my channel is Crafty Teacup. So yeah, and I want to make more pin cushions for you. I'm really excited to do the soda bottle one. So yeah, oh look how cute. Makes me want to take a sip of the tea. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye. <laughs>